What is going on folks? Today, I'm going to review the 1990 Warney Brothers and Amblin Entertainment series. And this one is, Tiny Toon Adventures. Now, what do I think and this show? Wow, that show is totally funny, hilarious, and awesome. Having Looney Tunes and Tiny Toons in one show, Tiny Toon Adventures was originally aired on CBS, Fox Kids, a cartoon programming block on Fox, Kids WB, a cartoon programming block on the WB and the CW, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, Discovery Family, and originally streamed on Hulu, and its beta on Disney+. Plus. The series is set in the fictional town of Acme Acres, where most of the Tiny Toons and Looney Tunes characters live. The characters attend Acme University, a school whose faculty primarily consists of the mainstays of the classic Warner Brothers cartoons, such as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Sylvester the Cat, Wile E. Coyote and Elmer Fudd. In the series, the university is founded to teach cartoon characters how to become funny. The school is not featured in every episode, as not all of its storylines revolve around the school. Like Looney Tunes, the series makes use of cartoon violence, for example anvils falling on someone, liberal use of explosives, and slapstick. The series parodies and references the current events of the early 1990s and Hollywood culture. Occasionally, episodes delve into veiled ethical and morality stories of ecology, self-esteem, and crime. The four main characters are Babs Bunny, a pink female rabbit, Buster Bunny, a blue male rabbit not related to Babs, Plucky Duck, a green male duck and Hampton J. Pig, a pink male pig. Other major characters in the cast are generally non-human as well. These include Fifi La Fume, a purple and white female skunk Shirley the Loon, a white female loon Dizzy Devil, a purple Tasmanian Devil Furball, a blue cat Sweetie Pie, a pink canary Calamity Coyote, a bluish gray Coyote Little Beeper, a red orange Road Runner and Go Go Dodo, a zany green Dodo. Two human characters, Montana Max and Elmi Reduff are also our students of Acme University. As the antagonists, Elmira is seen as an extreme pet lover while Montana Max is a spoiled rich brat who owns either many toys or polluting factories. The writing is for the show is very good for the most part and is filled to the brim with great and clever humor, and the concept of a cast of young cartoon characters training and studying to become the next generation of cartoon legends is pretty original and unique, and their mentors and teachers being the Looney Tunes characters is a major plus, and this great writing in turn delivers great episodes like The Looney Beginning, Test Stress, Hollywood Plucky, Cinemaniacs, Promise Her Anything, who bopped Bugs Bunny. The You Asked For a Trilogy, Buster and Babs Go Hawaiian, Take Helmira Please, The Return of Bad Duck, Toons Takeover, Tiny Toon Music Television, and any of the more spooky themed episodes like Toons from the Crypt and Night Gallery, and some of the individual segments can be pretty good like Aroma Amor, Butt Out, and I know this one may be a hot take, one beer. But sometimes the writing really isn't up to bat and results in a few duds like Pledge This and Gangbusters. The comedy is very hilarious and well timed. And it leads to many really funny bits like the banter between the characters, the slapstick, the visual gags, the references, all the situations and mishaps the characters get themselves in, and Babs' many imitations. But I will say all the bad stuff that happens to Furball is more depressing than funny due to the nature of the character, and Elmiri's unintentional treatment towards animals can be disturbing. The animation is very zany and well crafted for an early 90s TV show as the characters all have very fast and fluid movements and solid designs. The backgrounds are nicely painted and detailed. This is also one of the very first shows to have more lively TV animation as nearly every animated show before had very limited animation due to time and budget, with the exception of their theme songs. The only other show I can think of that had very lively animation before Tiny Toons was that Mighty Mouse show that Ralph Bakshi developed. The characters are all pretty funny and very likable, with a few exceptions. Buster and Babs are both very likable and funny protagonists as they're both pretty witty, energetic, and crafty, and have great chemistry as Buster's more of a smart aleck, while Babs is more upbeat. Plucky is pretty likable as a hot-headed egomaniac, 
and harbors a strong jealousy towards Buster and Babs due to their popularity, despite considering them his friends. Hamden is pretty likable as the show's straight man, and is also a neat freak, but these traits make it all the more funny whenever he gets into the other character shenanigans, especially Plucky's. Fifi is pretty likable as a hopeless romantic and tries anything and everything she can to find love despite practically everyone rejecting her due to her foul scent, and unlike her mentor, Pepe La Pew, she does know when someone rejects her, and takes it to heart. Foul Mouth is friggin hilarious due to his constant bleeped swearing, and how everyone around him reacts to it, but he does try his beat to keep it under control and be more careful. Shirley is pretty decent as although she is pretty dang smart, she does follow a lot of new age trends and lifestyles, and she tends to put up with a lot of insanity from her admirers. Dizzy is pretty decent as like his counterpart Taz, he's very wild and destructive, but unlike Taz who's feared by many, Dizzy has some admirers who tend to follow him around. Furball is probably the most sympathetic character as all he wants is to find someone to take him in and take him to their home, but his constant string of bad luck gets in the way of that. Gogo is okay as he is pretty wacky and does get some laughs here and there mostly due to him being a little shit and pulling some pranks on the other characters. Elmira is a decent antagonist as although she really loves animals, the way she displays said affections are questionable to say the least, and these actions tend to earn the ire of her fellow students who are all anthropomorphic animals. I know lots of people despise this character due to her treatment towards animals, and as an animal lover myself I can relate, but I'm willing to give her some slack because 1 she's an antagonist so that's kinda the point, 2 she's just a little girl and doesn't know any better so she has plenty of time to learn, and 3, she does have some funny moments every now and then, specifically when she chases after Montana much to his dismay. And speaking of Montana, he's the kind of villain you just love to hate because of his extremely mean and bratty personality which I will admit can be grating even though that's pretty much the whole point of his character, which makes his misfortunes and failures all the more funny and makes the viewer feel triumphant in a way. Some of the other characters like Sweetie Pie, Calamity Coyote, Little Beeper, Lyle Sneezer, Concord Condor, Byron Bassett, Bookworm, Barky Marky, Mary Melody, and Arnold the Pitbull honestly aren't really that funny or even really that memorable. The series features occasional cameos from the Looney Tunes cast such as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Elmer Fudd, Yosemite Sam, Pepe Le Pew, Sylvester and Tweedy, Taz, Wile E. Coyote and Road Runner, Foghorn Leghorn, Granny, Speedy Gonzalez, and several more. They mostly serve as mentors and teachers to the younger cast, but they still manage to maintain their iconic personalities and do get their fair share of laughs. The voice acting is very well done and the cast all deliver solid performances like Charlie Adler as Buster, Tress McNeil as Babs, Joe Alasky as Plucky, Don Messick as Hamden, Kath Soki as Fifi, Gail Mathias as Shirley. Cree Summer as Elmira, and more. The music is pretty well composed as it really captures the lively and zany tone of the show, and is one of the very first animated series to have a full orchestra provide the music. Speaking about the movie, this show has its direct-to-video movie from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and Amblin Entertainment, Tiny Toon Adventures, How I Spent My Vacation in 1992. Now this is what I call a perfect finale with a movie. However, in 2020, it was announced that Tiny Toon Adventures will be getting a reboot series, which unfortunately during COVID was delayed. But in 2023, this show has a reboot series as their own Max original series, Tiny Toons Luniversity in 2023, which is also currently airing on Cartoon Network. And what is my verdict on this show? 8.5 out of 10 This is a pretty solid show that provides many laughs and several highly likable characters. But this would just be the beginning of Warner Brothers and Steven Spielberg's decade-long collaboration in animation as they would strike pure gold with their next series.